something really cool happened. I was invited to the 2024 Whitney art party, which I think is like a medium big deal in New York City. And I have no idea how I was invited. And I heard that MGMT is gonna DJ. The only problem is I don't have an outfit for tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. But on the bright side, it does mean that we get to go thrifting. Alright, so I'm really excited about tonight. I just don't even know where to start on what to wear. I was googling past Whitney art parties and the range is way too big. It's like on one side people wear tuxedos and go all out and on the other side they're wearing like t-shirts and jeans. So I, I think that I'm gonna live somewhere in the middle. I'm so mad at myself because I was invited to this party like a week ago and I'm deciding the day of to find an outfit, which is a very me thing to do. But I think we'll hit up Brooklyn first. We have three hours to find an outfit. <sighs> Let's do it. I just got some major backup for my mission. I found out I have a $200 gift card from Seven Wonders Collective in Brooklyn, and I've never been here before, and they better have something good. Otherwise, we're gonna have to do a closet scurry. I'm at the point of my closet career where I have so many clothes, but none of them are who I identify with today. I have a really big internal struggle right now. But we're off. Wait, we're gonna do a fit check first. I can never tell if I like this jacket or if I just look like Kill Bill. Maybe it's both. I'm afraid it's fancy. That's like my biggest fear. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm in such a pickle right now. I know. It was tough because the Williamsburg Seven Wonders had a ton of really good options, but I just think it was way too casual for the occasion tonight. Okay. Wish me luck. Good luck, man. The first Seven Wonders Collective store. I took a pretty fat L. Yeah. Attempt number two. Say a prayer to the thrift gods. Okay. The way Seven Wonders works is there are different sellers in New York that all have racks throughout the store. And I could tell this one was more promising because there's a little bit more high-end designer at this location. Okay, maybe you can help me with something. Is there anything that you think I would look cool in? Uh, this is kind of fun. This is funky. This is wow. Yeah, right? Wow, it's slick. Yeah. I'm gonna try it on. They did have insane JPG. Look at this bag. Okay, so they did have good other items, but I don't know if my wallet was ready for these prices yet. Nope. Will I find my outfit? <laughs> oh, f Don't count on it. <laughs> yep. There was a vintage store, Shop 86, right next door, so I thought I'd check it out too. Blazer, 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 blazer. Tell me this doesn't remind you of Dumb and Dumber. All right, second Seven Wonders Collective was a medium L. I didn't find an outfit for tonight, but now I have a Versace sweater, which is one more Versace sweater than I had 12 minutes ago. We're gonna try Beacon's Closet. I lied, this is now my Hail Mary. Thrift God to be good to me. So Beacon's Closet was my last ditch effort to find something, and it's one of my favorite thrift stores in all of Brooklyn. It's huge, and they have so many different items. I thought they definitely have something for me. I also love that it's color organized. It makes things a lot easier. Promising. Oh. Wonder if my sweater would look good with it. I did it. I literally did it. I have an outfit for the night. Now we're gonna run home so I can hem these Johns. We have two hours. 
on our way to my art studio in Chinatown that me and my friends share together. I never know what's going on or if people are in there or not. So I hope no one is there because I have like 30 minutes. Ugh. Wheel cutter. It's time to cut it. I'm gonna put on pants. Okay. I gotta remember how to do this. I don't even have time to check it. I just gotta skedaddle. Operation Hem Pants. Check. Hello! It's so talkative. All right, we are back with the outfit haul. First thing I got at Seven Wonders in Greenpoint is the Versace sweater. I wasn't planning on wearing this tonight, but after I got my suit, I think it can make a lot of sense. Speaking of my suit, I got this blackish brownish Berglioli. I love that it's somewhat striped on it. I'll admit it when I bought it, I didn't know it was Berglioli. I Googled how much their suits go for, and they're like a few grand. I don't know if that's how much this goes for, but I'm gonna tell myself that to make myself feel better about it. And it's a full suit, so it came with the pants too. And I hem these pants, so now they're gonna fit me, which is a very common short guy problem. So here's the total outfit for tonight. I don't know what I was expecting from my thrift haul today, but overall I'm soaked on this outfit. Again, I didn't know what I was gonna wear. I went for a medium casual look, but the fact that I know that's designer stuff makes me feel a little bit better about it. And for shoes, I'm wearing these Clark's loafers. All right, let's go to the Whitney art party. And I don't think I was the best dressed person at the event, but I definitely held my own. Oh, and I was featured in Paper Magazine the next day. It's pretty crazy, they poured espresso martinis through ice sculptures in the elevators. And we just got to explore the Whitney Museum, which is now my favorite museum in all of New York. Overall, the night was so much fun, a huge success, and if you love thrifting and vintage, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.